Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is a viewer request of a comparison between the different types of pigeon dolls. So I'm going to go through with you guys Pigeon MSD, Chibi Pigeon, and Pigeon Petite. Those are the three that I have. Now there have been other versions of Pigeon in the past, and as a matter of fact, I've got this to show you guys. The first time I had ever heard of Pigeon was in this magazine, and I really miss this magazine. There's still Dolls Magazine, but this one was a lot more cutting edge and had more, um, I don't know, I, I say cutting edge, it had, it had more kind of different sorts of dolls in it, where Dolls Magazine has kind of more childlike dolls in it. Um, but I, I first learned about Pigeon Doll from this magazine, and I'm just gonna show you guys um, some of the early versions of Pigeon that were in this magazine, and I wish I had been able to afford one at the time because I absolutely love um, this original face that she has. So if you, here's, here's a great, I, I loved that doll. Like, she is so beautiful. And, um, but this is just an early version of Pigeon. And this, the other thing that's cool is this magazine came with an early, or it's not, excuse me, not early, but it came with a Pigeon paper doll. How fun is that? So, um, that's how I first learned about it, and I, that was 2015. Well, I had the opportunity to attend Resin Rose. I was uh, on a business trip to Portland. I can't remember what year it was. I want to say it must have been 2017, and I was able to meet the artist and order my first MSD pigeon. And so, uh, this is her, and the rest is kind of history with me and pigeon dolls. Whoops, she fell over because I absolutely adore them. And so what I wanna do today is show you guys sort of the differences. I'm gonna talk about each one and their attributes and then I'll kinda of talk about the differences, but you can just see them here. The size difference is pretty obvious. You know, these are smaller and she is taller. She's around 16 inches. I don't know what the exact measurement is, but let's start with MSD pigeons. So I'm gonna slide these two to the side. I have borrowed stands from other dolls in my collection so they can stand here. MSD Pigeon is, um, she's like your standard one quarter size BJD. She is the most like a traditional BJD of all the Pigeon dolls um, that are currently available. Uh, and of course that I have in my collection. Like I showed you, there is a there are some older versions of Pigeon, which I don't have any of, unfortunately. I would love to get one. So if you know of anybody selling an older version of Pigeon, drop me a comment below. But anyway, um, she has a single jointed knee. So you can see there's the knee joint. Um, she has interchangeable feet. So she comes with flat feet. Um, by default, but you can add the heeled feet. I actually went back and bought the heeled feet for my pigeon um, just, I think, earlier this summer. So when I got her, she came with the flat feet, but I really love the silhouette of the heeled feet and kind of the, the difference that it gives her, um, like the different look. It totally, to me, changes her entire look. So there's that. She also has, um, she has a twisting joint up at the top of her leg. You can see that there. Um, so there's that. She has, I like that her torso is not broken up by a joint. So she actually has a really cute belly. I should really display her in more like swimsuits and crop tops and stuff like this. This is a crop top, but it's not cropped that short. But her belly is super duper cute. And then she has kind of a small bust, but she does have the joint under the bust um, that you can, and she has the thing that locks in place. She has that notch. So you can kind of, um, you can see the, the back joint or the bust joint there, and um, you can move her up and hold that position. This pigeon also, MSD pigeon, has magnetic hands. So that's a really nice feature because you can change her clothes very easily. So magnetic hands that just pop off. And um, what I love about her is, you know, she's, and, and this is actually gonna be the same for all of them, but so I'm gonna repeat it, but she's very easy to dress because she can share clothes with your standard quarter, one quarter size MSD dolls like Mini Fee, um, my Atelier Mimoni dolls, the Mimoni size she can share with. Uh, so 
I really like that. There's also, I have a few uh, fashions that were made just for her. Um, one of them is the default fashion that I got with her when she arrived, and another is one that I got from the artist Joshua at a doll show. So I have a couple that were made especially for her. Right now she's dressed in a, this is a mini feet outfit. So, and her shoes, I just, the shoes I have are custom from the artist. So these are 3D printed stilettos, and then the flats that I have for her flat feet were also 3D printed by the artist. So I really love her. The resin quality is really nice. Um, another thing I love is that the artist, he does all of the face-ups for his dolls. I have never seen him do ever a factory face-up on his doll. And I love that because number one, his style is so distinctive and it's so unique. And I also love that he and I've said this before in other videos, he shares a lot of his face painting videos and they're so fun to watch. I really just enjoy watching those videos. So this is my pigeon and this is the first one I got. I ordered her at Resin Rose. My husband actually bought her for me because we um, he traveled with me when I went for business that, that week and um, we found out that, or I found out, we didn't find out, I found out that Resin Rose was going on and I found out that um, Pigeon Doll was going to be there and I was like, I have to go because I really, I really had been kind of obsessed since I had seen this magazine and I wanted to check them out and I really wanted one. So that was really cool for me and I've been lucky to be to other shows that he's at since. So that is MSD Pigeon. I'm going to try to put her back on the stand, um, stand her up. So there she is. Now the next one that I got in my collection and that was released is the Chibi Pigeon or Chibi. I always say Chibi. I don't really know which one's the proper pronunciation. She is Blythe sized. So she is also easy to find clothes for uh, because she can share with Blythe. Her, her little body is a Blythe sized body. And she has, I'm gonna pull her out of the stand. And I'm gonna pull her tights off just so you can see her construction a little bit better. Um, she has oh, she has a knee joint, a single knee joint that you can see here, and she has little teensy weensy tiny blithe size feet, little teeny weensies, teensy teensies. She has a also she has a chest joint, um, like so many of the dolls do, and you can see her head is very big. She's got a really big head. It kind of like it wants to, oh, her wig, popped her wig off. Sorry about that. She's got a, she actually got a double jointed elbow. So you can do some fun poses with those arms because that little elbow is double jointed. So that's sweet. And she's got a little sweet wrist joint. I like her hands because they're, they're like, she can do this cute thing where she clasps her hands. Let me see if I can pose her like that. Let me put her wig back on since I snatched it right off. Okay, there we go. Um, so you can see she kind of, she can do this cute little thing. I love that little pose. Love it. Um, the head is really big, but what I like about that, um, it's, it's, it's kind of like Blythe, right? It's, it's, it's a proportional thing, like, you know, to be really cute. And that's the whole chibi aesthetic, right? Is to have like this cute proportions and have the big eyes and really cute stuff. What I like about her is that this is a huge canvas for Joshua the artist to do his painting on because I love his painting so much. Like I said, I just love his makeup style. And so uh, having this big face for him to do makeup on, I love, love, love the painting videos where he's painting one of these because he's just got so much room to work with stuff and it's really cool. And so that's one of the things about her that's super sweet. And she's actually available on his website right now, uh, the same version of her if you're interested in grabbing one. I think he has them in stock. Because this was a Modern Doll Collectors Convention doll um, that we had a couple of years ago. Actually, it was 2019. This was doll was from Modern Doll Collectors Convention. So she was an addition for that. And I think there were a couple left over. And so they're on his website for sale. But she's really super sweet. And um, like I said, she can, she can share with Blythe. So she can share with Mini Fee and Slim MSDs. She can share with Blythe. So now let's move on to Pigeon Petite and talk about her. So let me slide her over. Now this is Pigeon Petite Peaches and Dreams from Modern Doll Collectors Convention this year, 2020. 
She was limited to 16 dolls and she did sell out and she is a beauty. I absolutely love this doll and he did a video about her creation which I will link below so you guys can check that out from his channel. But this is Pigeon Petite. So let's talk about her now. So she is uh, much smaller. This is actually the size doll that he uses for his tiny hair series if you guys have seen that. He does a collaboration video. Um, I believe it's with the Snapchat channel. I think it's called Sweet. That might be wrong, so don't quote me on that. But uh, just check her face out. Her little face is so, so precious. I adore it. And I've actually never undressed her, so I'm going to undress her now so we can kind of look at her. Um, actually, no, I'm not going to undress her. I'm going to just lift her skirt up because I want to show you she's a little bit different. And we had a live Zoom chat with Joshua during Modern Doll Collectors Convention, and he kind of said she's got a knee joint, but she's not really designed to be, she's technically a ball jointed doll, but she's more designed to be like a fashion doll. Like that is the intention with her, is to have her more like a fashion doll and to be able to have that silhouette of the fashion doll. So if you notice her arms, she's got the long, straight, elegant arms that are really reminiscent of the vintage Barbie, or even Barbies now don't have um, bent, most of the Barbies don't have bent arms, but you know, just the classic fashion doll look that's so gorgeous. And she's done in resin, of course. They're all done in resin, um, and they're all cast. They're not, um, and so she's just super sweet and she's she can share with Barbie. So while I'm sitting there saying, you know, she has kind of the same like silhouette, she can share with Barbie. So that's a nice thing about her as well. Now her heels, again, she has the silhouetted high heeled foot and these are shoes that came from the artist. So I don't know that she could share shoes with anyone, but clothing wise, she can definitely share with Barbie. So you may be wondering, you know, which one of these is my favorite. My favorite pigeon is hands down the original, well, the MSD size pigeon. I say original, but he actually did some pigeons that were much larger than her even. Um, if you look back at his website and look at some of his earlier work. Um, she's my favorite just because I love this size. This is the size that I really like. I love how much availability there is out there for her. Pigeon is an icon in my opinion. She's really just an iconic doll. There is something about her that is, you know, she's, she's, she's like a celebrity. I mean, that's the way I feel about her. That's how, that's how I kind of see her in my collection is she's the celebrity and she's the icon amongst my dolls. And she's like a makeup icon because he does this gorgeous makeup. And so, and that's something that I really love about her. My second favorite would be the Pigeon Petite because I love uh, this size of doll and I need to redress her. I actually haven't redressed her yet because I love his Peaches and Dreams gown so much that I haven't um, gone through and redressed her because you can actually, the gown actually has like these kind of wings that stand up and it looks really cute on display. Um, but I need to redress her just to kind of play around with her and do some different stuff with her. So I like them all, um, but I actually have another MSD sized pigeon on the way. Um, she is going to be a surprise, but I have um, ordered her and she will be here sometime, maybe early in the new year or maybe like February or so, but I'm really pumped about her because um, I really just love his work and I love, um, like I said, I really just love his paint, the painting on his dolls. And I think what's cool about these dolls is I feel like, and I don't know this because I'm not, um, I just don't, I don't know it, but I get the feeling that there's a big crossover with these dolls. So I think that not just doll collectors collect these dolls. I feel like probably art collectors, fashion collectors, people interested in makeup. I feel like those types of collectors also collect pigeon dolls. Obviously I'm a doll collector and so that's why I have them in my collection. But you know, I don't just, I just, I don't buy any old doll. I, I, I like to have a connection to a doll and I like to buy a thing of beauty and I really love buying artist dolls and supporting artists, you guys know that. So, you know, that's why I have it in my collection but I feel like a lot of other people who aren't necessarily doll collectors maybe have a doll in their collection and it's pigeon and it's because of all the other reasons that I, I shared there with you guys. But anyway, I hope this comparison was useful. 
Um, if you have any other questions about the pigeon dolls, let me know in a comment below. Um, like I said, I'll be getting another uh, MSD size pigeon doll. Uh, she's been ordered, so you know I'm expecting maybe February-ish, February or so. So um, really excited about that. Love the dolls, um, and he's just a he's a wonderful person. He's a wonderful artist, and he's you know he's really really um he shares a lot on social media which is amazing like he's just sharing his process all the time which i feel like gives me as a collector more of a connection because i can kind of see the process and kind of what he's working on so i love that so anyway i'll link below to the video about his peaches and dreams and i'll also link his website and his instagram in case you guys um, aren't familiar with pigeon and I encourage you to get one if you want one um, so if you have any other questions that I didn't answer please leave them in a the comment below if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and we will see you guys in the next video bye bye